I'm going to be reading some lucid dreaming stories, and this is something that a lot of you have requested for a while, so to give you some context, these are coming from Instagram. This one is from Twitter, but these stories are mainly going to be coming from uh, my Instagram, which is at howtolucid. Uh, the same is my, the, my Twitter username is the same, so let's just get right into it. I'm going to read these stories. I might put some stock footage across this video. I'll see how I feel later. Okay. When I was in class 11, I decided to have a lucid dream. It used to happen randomly, but I only used to talk about lucid dreaming with my friends. And after six months, I finally had a lucid dream. I became so excited, but then it would just fade away. And it's been three years now since I could, since I was able to easily have one. And I wish I could have experienced a lot of new things, including jumping, overcoming fear, flying, eating new things, and being able to tell a dream character that I'm dreaming. So very interesting story there. They're going to get better as we go along. We're just going to break into this slowly. Okay. So this dream story comes from somebody on Twitter. Both of us were on bikes. I was chasing the perpetrator that was shooting flaming arrows under the doors of a school and lit a kid on fire. I let him know what I saw and he sent a father-son duo to our house in retaliation. My girlfriend informed him that they were from a foreign country and on a type of heroin that rendered him untouchable. This is a very bizarre story, I must admit. My dream character friend gave the son three solid whacks with a machete and his unfazed sharpening of the weapons stopped. He intended on harming us with these weapons. I awoke wondering how am I supposed to confront them. So I've noticed that a lot of lucid dreaming stories and just dreams in general actually tend to involve fighting, conflict and drama. And I think this has a lot to do with the media we're consuming at the moment as a, as a society. But I might be wrong, let me know what you think in the comments. So this is another story, this is a lucid nightmare. I had a lucid nightmare once, where I was getting chased by a monster. Every time I tried to wake myself up, I would end up in another dream. So this is referring to, I guess, false awakenings. During one of the awakenings, I was talking to my parents after getting up, before they exploded into fire and monsters then chased me. Every time I got far, I assume every time they ran far enough away, they would teleport to my location. I kept waking myself up and I'd end up in a dream every single time. So again, false awakenings, which can be avoided by the way, by doing a reality check every time you wake up. Because then, if you, if you do that, you can't have a false awakening, but anyway. I eventually became convinced that I had died in my sleep and I was in hell, being punished for being an atheist. Wow, this has got very, uh, very interesting pretty quickly. So again, that was on Twitter, that was someone who just replied as a, a tweet to one of the uh, posts I made. This is another one from Rachel on, again on Twitter actually. It was a post-apocalyptic world and people would go crazy before they turned into full flesh-eating zombies. This guy tried to force himself on me and attacked me with a knife. I was so scared and it was so vivid and it felt so real. Wow. So again, a lot of these are quite scary stories. I might have to title this something like most horrifying lucid dreaming stories. This is another one from Clayton on Twitter again. I became lucid and then very shortly after the sky exploded, there was a very loud apocalyptic bang and I was standing there on the ground, aware and conscious, yet lucid at the end. So as you can see, there's obviously a lot of negativity and nightmares going on with people in lucid dreaming and I don't know why. I think it's something to do with us watching horror films and also the media. See, we dream about things that we consume and pay attention to. So if you're constantly watching the media, the news, TV, radio, um, they're constantly feeding you fear-based news and negative stories because the way our human psychology works is we pay attention to danger. So if you have, and we're going to go off on a slight tangent here, but I'm going to bring it back into why it's important in just a minute. So if you have a company which makes money from selling advertising, the, the more people that view their news channel, the more money they make. We also, so if you combine that with the fact that humans psychologically pay attention to danger more than they pay attention to a cute cat, for example, then it goes some way to explaining why the media, the main news companies, constantly feed us negative and scary stories. Because they know that we will pay attention to them, we will be scared, we will want to listen to what's being said, and then, before you know it, we're watching more adverts, and they're making more money. So it's all about money, really. And some other things as well, but we won't get into that. So, 
really be aware of this. Be aware of the media and what you're consuming, especially from things like news channels. Do a little experiment if you don't believe me. Turn on any, any news channel at pretty much any time of day and watch it for 90 seconds. And I'm pretty sure that in most cases within that 90 seconds you will hear either a negative story, a scary story, something criticising someone or some form of gossip. Something negative, I guarantee it. And uh, when I realised that, that's when I stopped watching the news. And as a result I started having much less nightmares. And by the way this goes for horror films as well. Horror films are, I mean of course they're not selling you advertising, but they're not good for you. You know, if you if you watch lots of horror films, you're constantly getting sort of saturated in this negative energy and just thinking about these bad things all the time. And it's, it desensitizes you to violence, to aggression, and uh, all of these scary things. So, if you want to have better dreams, and you don't want to have any more scary dreams, and you don't want to have any more nightmares, stop watching the news. Stop watching horror films. Stop gossiping about, you know, terrorist attacks or whatever it is and just focus on positivity, love, peace, joy and consuming that content every day and I guarantee your dreams and indeed your life, I guess everything will be better if you pay less attention to the negative stuff and more attention to the positive stuff. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.